Uh, so now we're going to keep pressing on and see about getting motor mounts in and uh, fan, water pump, and radiator and all that and see how we fare there. using this donor radiator this is out of the 04 Yukon uh, so first thing with the mounts for this body style they got this little tab and then there's this little rubber and then there's a hole down in the core support that that would sink into and so on this style of truck it's got this style and that would normally go right there but my Yukon radiator, these tanks are a little wider than these factory mounts, so that doesn't quite doesn't quite stretch to fit it there. So what I think I'm going to end up doing is I have found these other little rubber mounts, and I'm going to pop them on like that, and then I'm going to hole saw down into my core support right there, and then you can see how that. This little rubber is going to sit down in my core support then, and then I should have about that much clearance from the core support to the bottom of the radiator. Just, you know, safety sake, have a little bit extra down there. Because if you look over here, at this core support, it's kind of ridged here and there. 
and that's for whatever with the radiator this truck would have come with factory so they all had the same core support but you know whether you've got uh and i don't know the measurements exactly but you know like a 24 or a 27 or a 30 inch radiator or whatever it might be you'd either be in here or you'd be in here you'd be in here so our radiator is pretty wide it, the one mount's going to come through right there and then the other one will be right about there and so anyway we'll just try to hole saw that and see how that all turns out general idea and that you know that right there like I was saying that's why I got this taller mount a little rubber bushing anyways so that way that'll stick up over top of that on the radiator from nipple to nipple is 37 so I'm gonna come over here get a rough idea Woo! Try and drill this hole on the driver's side. I think it's gonna be all right. And then for these top mounts, I think I'm just gonna run some steel plate and then come right here. Whoop, and then a 90. So just like that, this piece of flat stock will hold it. I just need to keep it, you know, just away from this core support just a little bit, and that should work just fine. And then we can use this hole and that hole, and we use this hole and use that hole and turn out pretty slick. Alright, so now I got this uh, kind of all set in here how I want it. 
uh, I described that I wanted to get it in a spot where that fan shroud would fit right over the fan, factory shroud from the donor vehicle and all that. So this is what we got going on now. Uh, so we got the factory shroud in there. Uh, there's my little mouse I was talking about that got made up. Nothing too crazy. Not rocket surgery. So and then this is just sitting sitting on there. I gotta get the clips the clips to hold the two halves together. Um, and then that'll be set there or should be. So that'll be sweet. But yeah, the fan the fan spins in there nicely. So then this is what I gotta do now is come up with a motor mount. And I've got some two guys way down in there holding the motor up and then now I gotta come in here and get a mount made and you can buy them all day I mean it's an LS so everybody and their brother has something that you know is bolt in or whatever but that's not quite my style so um, what I've done is I have heavily molested factory LS mount so you can see here this is the factory LS mount that was on it took those both off so I cut all that so this is what I got here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay some flat stock in between it kind of like yet and then I'm gonna weld that all up on both sides and I guess you can see too it fits it's perfect size to fit right in between there so I'll bolt both these halves on the motor tack this piece in the middle pull it out weld it all up then I got this small block 350 universal type mount and a yeah, little bushing there goes in there I took that out so then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna cut it right there basically somewhere in there wherever the eye says that it looks right so wherever that gets cut so then I'll have my plate on here Plate on there like that. So picture that. And then I have it all cut off and it's on there. Weld that. And then I'll have a mount. Something like that. Yeah. And then I was struck with a revelation. Why would I bolt it to the motor? Why not just bolt it to the other mount? So that's what I did. And then now I'm just going to weld it up. And keep working on this mount. So maybe now you can see what I'm talking about after all this blabbering. Uh, I got this little dilly donger here cut off now and ground down. And that guy down there all welded up. And just gonna put that like that. And then there'll be the bushing in there. A couple tabs I'll put off the frame. And then that'll be motor mount. And it'll just be a simple guy there.
end it for today. So got uh, that mount down there now, uh, figured up, and then you know I just weld some uprates on the frame here. Next chance I get to get the truck in, I got uh, some more repair I gotta do. So this is getting rolled back outside for a little while, but yeah, now it's got the new wheels and tires on it though. So you know, at least it's aired up. You know, it ain't a big deal. Get it in and out. Yeah, them other ones wouldn't. They wouldn't hold an air. So those are done, over with. Got these on there now. So nice, cheap tires. So I don't feel too guilty about it. And then, uh, yeah, very happy with the progress got made today. So yep, yep. Got all the valve springs in there and rockers and valve covers sealed up with some new gaskets and the motor trans sitting pretty much right there where I want it it's gonna come down maybe a half inch more roughly yeah see what happens so but yeah, I got that on there you know the radiators in there and getting the fan shroud and all that stuff figured out so it's all just a just a process so yeah, but enjoying it. I hope everybody else is enjoying it too. Uh, so, we'll try and make a runner out of it. Alright, and back again. And say, gonna try and get uh, some motor mounts finished up, hopefully. So, I uh, just kind of got started real quick here and got my CAD program up and running again. So, put that on like that. And then. On the other side, I'll have that one like that. And then that'll finish up this side for the motor mount, and then we can go work on the other side. finished up and so that one right there uh, that we watched you know come together and then over here I just did a mirror image of it more or less um, you know it turned out a little different you know it's definitely you know the right sides for the right side and the left side for the left side but they're definitely gonna work just fine so that's all mounted in there and so now the rest of it can start to go together and uh, Hopefully can have some more videos going of it and you know make some more progress on it. So uh, things are gonna go moving along pretty quick I think on it now hopefully. So thanks for watching and uh, you know subscribe if you like it and leave a comment or you know whatever some criticism whatever you got for me. So appreciate it and we'll see you again. <laughs>